Hey guys, here's the gear for today. The theme for the lather games for today is use something that's new to you, a brand that you've never used before. Well, I happen to have one on hand. I got it from a uh, meetup that I went to in 2019 uh, in Greensboro in September. Strike Gold Shave, I, I think, was there. So I think I got this from the actual guy himself, I, I think. Um, and this is Hoover. I wasn't really able to find too much info on it. I did find some YouTube uh, shavers who had worked with it, but I didn't find a product page. And apparently it's not a current product on the Strike Gold Shave website itself. Uh, and Try That Soap did not have it either. Um, so I don't, and I didn't have enough time to watch the uh, videos to, to then see what they have to say about it. Um, something I haven't used before on my face is this Excelsior brush. Now, it looks like it's in a Samoog brush. It had, it came in a, a clear box with a little sticker on it that said uh, 210, ref 210, and then it had a barcode. And it had said Serta, which I believe is Italian for brush, and so I, I assume that it's a Samoog 210, maybe. Um, but I wasn't able to find anything after a little bit of searching. And so hopefully you guys, uh, if anybody knows anything about it, you can tell me. I did contact Samoog through their eBay, the Portuguese factory. That's their username on eBay. And they said there was a, a little brand that they had that made these kind of barrels. And it was uh, for a different kind of a different product line called Something like started with a B or something, but but then he said those fibers would have been synthetic, and these are definitely bore. I haven't used this yet. I've done a couple of test lathers just to kind of get it to see how it felt and that kind of thing on my palm. Uh, so he's new to me. The soap is new to me. The post shave is new to me. In that same meetup, Dooms Bay. Uh, a guy walked around giving away some free samples of, and then, well, this is not a sample. This is a full size, and it is a, a Bay Rum type scent. And so, uh, very nice. So I'll test that out as well as a product I've never used before. I wasn't really able to find a razor that I hadn't used before, uh, but I did find this one, the Black Tip Super Speed, and it's one that I've only used once. So that'll be as close as I can get. Take a look at our Nasset here. And we are looking at, oh man, this side is really starting to fill up. So 285 is the current use count. So this is use 286, isn't that crazy? All right. Hey, and earlier today, I, and here's to show you it's the same Nasset. I finished going through all the posts, there were hundreds of posts on my day, on day one of the Lather Games. There were 71 people who submitted one that was formatted like me or addressed me in the post in some way. And so I addressed all those. Uh, I was just so uh, blessed and honored to be uh, included in that way as a part of the game. So it's very, very cool. Get my face wet. And there were several that did uh, videos. And I started off with Chewbacca's video on day one. It's just a wonderful, very entertaining uh, video. And then I ended with C. Kisgen, C. K. Isgen. I don't know how he says his name, but uh, uh, that's the, the last one. And he did a video too, and it was so witty, and he put forth just a lot of effort to do it up really well. He didn't actually shave, but everything else, he paid close attention to my style and did a great job with it. In addition with the video, but also with the write-up too, he did such a great job. So from beginning to end, it was a really neat, really neat thing. Now, these are this tub here is a little bit bigger than, you know, average, and so I guess in a desperate situation you might be able to load from this but let's not do that in case you've never loaded from a sample before um, this is a half teaspoon I um, my in my travel bag is my quarter teaspoon which is what I normally use 
And so what I'm going to do is just kind of get out, you know, half of that. It's um, kind of spicy, uh, kind of thick spicy. Maybe maybe a, tint, a touch of vanilla, but it's not. It's in the background. It's. I, I think I like it. First impression is nice. It's probably more than a quarter teaspoon. It's into, it's kind of a mottled texture there. Look at that. Coloring is not consistent. There's nothing wrong with that, but it's just interesting. Now, something I haven't used in a long time. My fine accoutrements. Lather bowl. I used my... Well, before I get it, let me press into the bottom the soap sample. And uh, some people like to press in the bottom of their lather bowl... Uh, like a week's worth of soap from the sample, or they'll take the entire sample and press it in. Sometimes that's 10 shaves. And so in a way, the lather bowl is no longer a lather bowl, but more of a loading bowl. If that's what they want to do, you know, more power to them. All right, so that's pressed in. Now, um, I, when I did a practice lather, I used this bowl. As you can see, it's larger. It's also much deeper. And so, let's see, there we go. It's also much deeper. And so it was actually, because of this brush being so short, the handle is so small, and, uh, and I have to, my fingers have to get really close up to the knot to be able to hold onto the handle, that that big bowl with the inturned lip was uh, getting in the way. And so I needed a smaller bowl. Well, here we go. So let's just see if this guy might be a good bowl to use for this small brush. All right, uh, I've got my face wet, the razor's loaded up, so let's just go ahead. We have soaked this brush for uh, several minutes. Some of the tips, um, because of the practice lathers that I did, some of the tips had started to, had start to split. Now, it's got this Excelsior logo on it that is just the exact same decal as is used in Samoag brushes. And so this guy may be a Samoag brush. Because of the small knot, this kind of smallish bowl might be okay. With a 26 millimeter badger, even a 24 millimeter badger, it just kept knocking the lather out of the bowl and I was using so much time trying to keep the lather in I wasn't really mixing it and it was just frustrating and so that's why I haven't used this guy now if you were to take this bowl and raise the sides half an inch three quarters of an inch something like that I think I could I think it would be a very usable bowl now they tell you that you know we're not going to Ray, uh, we, we have low sides so that your brush doesn't clink. Well, I'd rather let my brush clink a little bit and not have to have such a headache with the lather. So if I keep the circles kind of small, this is a smallish kind of knot. If I keep my circles small, then maybe we won't have lather spilling over. Now you can... This has a brush rest over here. And see, look, because of the weight of the knot there, I have often found this to be kind of an inferior brush rest, where the one on my Quintero bowl, I haven't found a brush yet that this doesn't work on. Uh, you can also hold it this way, you know, if you want, but I, it's just much more secure if I... Hold it like this. That's just a nice scent. So I went on Strike, while I'm mixing here, I went on Strike Gold Shave's website. They had uh, a few different soaps available, some aftershaves, and they sold some straight razors. And it looks like they're taking gold dollar straight razors. And maybe they're honing them for people and making them available for like 30 bucks or something like that. 
I've at first I kind of joked about the gold dollars, but apparently they're for the price the metal is not that bad. It's just that some of them have construction issues like a shoulder uh, near the, the heel of the blade that gets in your way. And if you know what to do and you can have a tool and grind that away, then you can actually hone up a gold dollar razor to, you know, do a good job. And so, I, but I, you know, I don't know very much about that. Just wanted to pass on a little bit of info. They are very cheap razors. normally and they definitely don't come shave ready if you just order them from you know the main source well the lather's looking good um otherwise the um the uh, this site did offer some brush knots a pretty basic selection that then the prices seem to be reasonable So let's see, so far, as long as I'm careful, this bowl does seem to be holding in the lather. Ah, look at that. This might be pretty good to shave with. Since it is my uh, first time, why don't I, yeah, let's go ahead and add. So there's two teaspoons in this lather, so that's not a lot of water compared to other to other soaps about as much water as I often add with a cream not a pretty firm croak all right because it was such a chore to uh, to use my bigger bowl because it was so deep and my hand uh, this brush was just so small I was having trouble my hand was having to dig to be down inside the bowl to, to work the lather. Now you can use this cool ring right there for your thumb with this kind of bowl. All right, now um, I have no idea what grade, if this is a Samogue brush, I don't know what grade of hair we're dealing with here. I, I There was a UPC barcode, you know, on the package, so it's not a super vintage, you know, brush. Uh, it is pretty, it is scrubby, it's not prickly. Plenty of backbone. And it is young, but look, it's not, doesn't look like it's killing the lather. Looks like it's doing a pretty good job. I was curious about this barrel handle, if it would be hard to hold on to or Or not it is it is definitely not as good as as many others this clot is big enough to where I want to take it off there so we're just going to spend a couple minutes working this lather into my face we want it to bond with my skin and provide slickness also to soften my whiskers yeah, this now it is it is quite backbony. However, it is the tips are not being prickly. Might be a good little travel brush since it's so small. Be interesting to see how this guy changes with the addition of more uses and more split tips and that sort of thing. I am gonna Add a little bit more water. This brush is so kind of tightly wound and small that it's not really giving me a place to, you know, to put the water. Normally if I do this kind of motion, I get kind of a hole in the center of the brush. 
that can hold the water until it is worked on my face. Now, this is so scrubby, I am a little concerned that I could be in for some brush burn later, you know, if the shave proceeds on, if I have to work it too much. So, uh, to my fingers at least, while I'm kind of rinsing there, it feels pretty slick. Um, I think the idea for the company uh, is because the, uh, the main guy is a public servant, and so he's, the theme is different presidents and um, different uh, you know, public service type, uh, type institutions. Well, it seems creamy, protective, and slick, so that's good. Uh, tugging just a little bit, but not really a big deal. Definitely not painful. One little tidbit about detecting if maybe your lather is too dry. And that is, how does it rinse away out of the razor? Well, you shouldn't have to use a jet of water to remove the soap. Uh, normal falling water due to gravity should be plenty enough to clear your razor of soap and residue. If it sticks around with that, you probably, uh, you're, you're mixing probably a little too dry, at least try wetting it up a little bit more, see if you like that better. You know, it's your preference. If you like it really dry, that's one thing. All right, a little rinse here. Well, kind of a creamy, nice slick feel. So he may be onto a nice soap base here. I think because of the stubble that I felt, that I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a repeat of the with the grain shave. Hey, I was talking about Nick shaves yesterday and I mentioned some neat things that we both agree on. Some things we don't, but uh, our, our styles, you know, uh, do share some commonalities. His, his nice light hold on the razor is definitely uh, something that I adhere to as well. Another one that just popped into my head as I was putting on that second pass is that he also uh, knows that you don't need a big old thick second pass of lather. You know, he's, he's all about laying down that thin layer that's going to get the job done. Well, that was very comfy. So funny how I can, during that rinse after the first pass, I can, it seems like I've got so much stubble going on. But then the comfort level just now is radically different than the tugginess of the first pass. All right, a little partial rinse. Well, I do like this scent. Um, I don't know anything about the... Uh, the proprietor company, um, you know, good business practices, bad. So we'll just assume good. So this is the third pass, but I'm going to start with the cross grain with this one. Yeah, this is a nice lather, guys. I like this Hoover scent. Um, but it doesn't seem to be, yeah, the, here's some leftover lather. This is a slick soap base. This is really nice. How about that?
Wonderful little surprise just sitting in my samples box waiting for me to try it out. And this guy's doing very well. He's holding on to the blade pretty well. I think a little better than the flare tips do. Um, I'm a big fan of the 40s style and this is kind of like the 40s style because there's just the straight knob here. It's just that this knob is black and this one happens to be plastic. There is a year where they made a a steel knob or a you know a metal knob uh, so I've been told but otherwise they all seem to be plastic but this uh, razor seems to have a nice grip on the blade like the 40s style does and I'm able to get just a really nice shave so this is the third pass and let's get some touch up leather here and just kind of now we can go this direction on it. You can use your fingers to spread the lather around. Uh, three things. You can use your fingers to spread the lather around. Also, you can use your fingers to check the slickness to know, is my skin slick right now? Can I maybe do a little, little extra work here? Or is it dry enough to where I should not? I should relather first. And then third, your fingers can test for stubble. And a little rinse. Well, I have not seen this on the Reddit uh, shaves of the day um, often at all. But uh, I might have to use this soap for a you know a few days just to give it some some references, some just to kind of put it out there. So that people know there's another good, yet another good shave company, right? We've got so many good soap makers. This is a really nice lather. I mean, I would put it up there with, uh, you know, Storybook, Sterling. Those kind of things, really, I, I, I would. You know, a lot of them. Summer break. You know, those guys. Um, and to me, it just depends on the lather that you like. But this kind of viscosity, I'm enjoying so much. I, I don't mind comparing it to even some of the top tier. I really don't. All right. So we're going to do cross grain again. So this little razor is handling the... Mass it pretty well. We'll have to look at the closeness of the shave, of course, to make the final judgment. Well, you know, it was tuggy on the first pass, but it wasn't, like I said, it wasn't too bad. And, uh, and that tuggy, tugginess was definitely absent on the second pass. So my face has forgotten all about that. And like I, if you didn't figure it out, um, the residual slickness on this lather is, is nice and high. Yeah, you can just you can just feel it all over. I bet if I wet my hand a little bit and then put it up on my face, it would kind of reactivate a little bit of that slickness. Yeah. You know, that kind of thing. Very nice, very nice. So this is a tuggy razor on the first pass, but just quite nice afterwards with the old NASA. I'm sure it'd be wonderful with a, a younger blade. Well, it left quite a five o'clock shadow here, so not quite efficient enough. Uh, to to kind of keep it in the running with the old nasset, uh, but comfortable, and I know that this is going to be an enjoyable razor for uh, for other for other younger blades. So we'll take this guy off, and what I do, we'll give him a good rinse, and gently put him over here on the washcloth. Also, nice wet lather keeps the interior rinse. Easy.
All it takes is a little bit of rinse to keep everything clean. It's a nice warm, spicy scent. Um, I said vanilla earlier, and there might be a little bit in there, but don't, you know, uh, I think it might be kind of related to the, the warm spiciness of the PDP-63. I think it's neat. I like it. How about that? Okay, so I have done four passes, and as you can see, I still have plenty of lather here. A very nice, luxurious, creamy lather. So this looks like the right bowl. You know, I've been thinking about getting rid of this for a long time, since almost all of my brushes are too big for this bowl. However, now that I've got a couple of small Samogs, um, I might just keep it around. It's so heavy, it costs a lot to ship, so I don't think I'd kind of make too much money back on it, you know? All right, well, I'm going to clean up my gear. And really, I used just two and, I mean, just a little bit over two teaspoons of water for this. Which is strange, since it was a thicker crope. It wasn't a cream, definitely. All right, well, this little boar, he does a decent job. I bet he's going to get even better and better as we throw some more uses on him. So let's try this bay rum, um, which is kind of a, a dangerous note for me. I don't, I don't use a lot of bay rums. Sometimes they have a cloviness to them that I definitely don't like. So let's just see what happens. Wife is not around. That is an interesting spray. <laughs> it's like it's clogged up or something. It's almost like a jet. All right. Well, we'll let that kind of be around me here as I clean stuff up. Uh, so, a little over a quarter teaspoon of soap. A little over two teaspoons of water was the ratio for today. Now, this is quite a generous sample. I am thinking uh, two weeks, you know, of a quarter teaspoon scoops. That's very nice. That might be a good um, size to uh, keep a tub around for travel, that kind of thing. Take your favorite uh, soap, scoop up a bunch of it, put it in here, go travel with it. Now, I don't know about the black tip versus the 40s style. Um, I believe the black tip was made later on because the 40s style one that I have, I think, is around uh, 1948, somewhere around there. And this guy is, does he have a code? He does have a code. W? W. Okay, so that'll tell us the year. If we look it up on the internet. Uh, and so maybe this is what was, um, maybe this is kind of the inexpensive version of the 40 style. They replaced the metal handle, the metal knob here, with a plastic one, just to maybe save a little money. And so this is the one that, you know, occurred later. I'm just guessing here. But he works great. Really happy with him. So this was all new stuff or slightly new in the case of the razor. I am, I'm liking the, uh, the Bay Rum. It is, it's not very clovey. Uh, so I might keep that around. So here is the brush in question. It said, it says it has the Excelsior logo decal. It said Ref 210 on the, uh, sticker with the UPC on the plastic case. Now, I have seen some of these by Samoog that were brought back, but they had a metal, a silver chrome type ring right here, and this one's black. So there, that's a slight difference. Um, and this guy is, uh, has a good bit of stiffness to the, the bristles right now. So if anybody knows what this guy is, I'd love to hear about it. I also got one that is the same barrel shape, 
but it has kind of a dirtier hairs coming out. So I'm assuming it's some kind of badger, maybe a badger boar mix, or maybe just a badger. And yeah, we'll try that one out sometime. So the black tip was not quite aggressive enough to give me a really nice cut here. It is uh, one of those where it just kind of has a little bit more of a five o'clock shadow impression to it. Uh, they've been cut pretty close, but just, just that kind of the darkness of a little bit of extra shade there is, is what's, uh, what's shown. And so I'm going to put it on my list of probably a little too mild for the old Nasset. Uh, Strike Gold Shave, excellent soap base. At least my first impression says so. Worked great in hard water as well. And um, the little bore brush is kind of doing the bore thing. It is uh, quite stiff. Um, however, it wasn't prickly. I didn't experience any brush burn by the end of the shave. And so I think those split tips are just going to keep getting better. And we'll just see what happens as we keep using it. All right, very good. And the Doomsday Rum is, is doing fine for me. Kind of enjoying that. Um, that would be interesting. I don't do Bay Rum splashes very often. I wonder what some other soap scents are that would be a good match where transitioning to the Bay Rum would be a neat kind of experience. That would be uh, interesting. What about something citrus? You know, something very citrus forward, lime and that sort of thing. Then transition from that into the Bay Rum. That could be cool. Anyway, there we go. Well, this is Sugar Daddy Shaves. Uh, thank you so much, guys, for all the tribute videos. I am I'm so honored. Um, all the members of the wet shaving uh, guy, uh, team there, the group that are uh, working on their lathered games stuff. Um, it's uh, just a privilege. And uh, so today with the lather games is stuff you haven't tried before. So if you're not a lather games participant, you may, may still want to check out the thread later on today just to see what people are posting, what they're What's brand new to them? I don't know. Might be worth it. All right, now, this is Sugar Daddy Shaves. You take care. Hope there's been something good in this video for you. Good night.